Hey, Scott with Colt Up. Got here in front of us the latest version of the Ice Cube, designed to be portable, move around, install with any size of tub of water that you want. Well, not any size. You're not going to get up to like 1,600 gallons, but we've got 100 gallons here, sufficient for, say, field side, cooling a person off rapidly or cooling your drinks as well. Anyhow. We're going to get the tank full of water. I'm just going to go through our startup procedures on it. It comes with little clips so we can clip the hose down. Your suction and your return. Suction side has a nice little filter on it just in case there's some crud that the athletes are bringing into it. Clearly labeled suction and return. So your hoses typically will just be rolled up on the side here. We can drop them down, set them into the tank on the top of your cart we have where your filter is so easy access to the filter for changing it out and you're going to need that for when you do your startup because we need to get some water into the system to prime it up so grab a bucket and we're going to dump some water in there just to be safe let's throw like i don't know do two gallons that would be lots so, we're just going to throw some water in there. And then we're going to plug it in. Every unit comes with a ground fault cord. And if you look, it has a test and a reset button on it. So the test turns the power off, reset activates the power to go to it. So, it's a plug and play ready to go. And I'm just going to plug this in, hit the reset button, and she'll fire up. And you gotta hit the reset button. So once you get it energized with power, the top side control is going to illuminate. You're just gonna sit back because it takes care of itself pretty much. Once you hear the pump start, you have an air bleed hose right here. That's gonna be loosened off. You're gonna hear hissing. Might stop hissing temporarily. So what we're going to do is we're going to leave that with the water in the pump. It's going to be priming. It's going to be moving the water, pulling it out of the tank, up into the filter area. So we'll leave this loose until some water starts coming out. Then we'll close this valve off and it'll work its way through. Some air bubbles will come through the bottom there and we'll be circulating the water and it'll be chilling. Now we wait. All right, got some hiss. Water's gonna come out, we'll close off that bleed valve. Then we can come down here, and we've got the water running. Waiting for this time for the uh, water to start to come through. To wait five minutes is not uncommon, especially on the first time, couple times you do the hookup. If the hoses are completely dry and the pump has never been primed to get all that water to circulate through, five minutes is not uncommon. You might even have to, if you wait five, 10 minutes and you've not had any water come through, you can turn the power off, open this guy up again, dump another half a gallon, a gallon of water down there, close it up, fire it up again, and then for sure, it's gonna work for you, all right? Um, that's about it, boss. No, there's more to it, okay? So, when we're gonna go over the operation of the ice cube, you, do, you have very limited function uh, for this because it's just some basic function on it. So, uh, you have the up and down arrows. You'll notice here, has 66 degrees F. That's your temperature of the water at the moment. If I hit the up or the down arrow, a little thermometer will pop up. And while the thermometer is displayed, it'll be the temperature that you're set to. So that's what the thermometer is set to temperature. We can run all the way down to 42 degrees. Boom, so set to 42. Water temperature is actually 66. It will recognize that, fire up the chiller, start chilling the water. Or we can go up 
and we'll just let this climb. There is a heater installed in all of these as well, up to 104. It is designed to chill, so the efficiency of chilling is definitely better than it being effective on a heating unit. So again, now we're back down to 42. There is no light, so the light function does not work. Your pump button, it only has a low speed for just circulation, so that's not going to do anything. You do have a standby button that'll just put everything on pause if it's for servicing reasons. I recommend we just do not touch that. Do not have it on standby. If you see standby, that's what it is. And we have a lock function. So we have a lock partial. I hold, hold pump one down for five seconds, went to lock partial. I'm gonna hold the pump button down again. You'll notice I'm holding the pump button and it's going to say L-O-C-F, lock full. Lock full means no one can operate these topside controls at all. Adjust the temperature or anything, whatever you had it set to, it's going to be locked into that. Going to hold the pump button down a third time. Keep holding it. U-lock, it's unlocked now, so we have function that we can adjust the temperature up and down. And that about covers it. All right, so for packing the unit up, we're going to disconnect the power and, oh, there we go, throwing that all over. That can just be wrapped up around the filter there. Then we're going to grab their hoses out. So we can grab our clamps that we're hosing, holding the hose in place. Disconnect those. And really, there's two ways we can deal with the hoses. One is if you have the space and you don't have to disconnect the sides. We can just flip the hoses up top there and then take the drinks out that have been kept cold and then pull the drain. This tank it just has a drain with a little spin on it right there. Depends on what kind of tank you have that suits your needs. Um, again, so just drain the tank. Set the hoses up here. If you need to disconnect the hoses, they are simple garden hose connections. And the plumbing on the inside will drain out about a gallon, a gallon and a half of water that will need to be recharged again like we did when we started it up.